We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Red Raiders and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Pass complete and taken down immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. tailback on the screen. Right down around the 28-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 32. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Steps out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 27-yard line. Fires it quickly. This one is incomplete. Going long. No, incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. made around the 46-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's scrambling. And he's sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Second and 12. Ball on the 32. Throws complete. He's hit right away. 
Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. He might not be able to get the pass off. Just throws this one away. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Texas Tech is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three-nothing, Texas Tech. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Slings it. Tackle at the 49. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. His man, and they take him down immediately. That'll make it fourth and two. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kurt. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Number 32 makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. Five wide. Make it second in inches. Check 37. Check 37. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. Texas Tech has a three-point lead. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. The reception. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set. He comes in with his dime package. Got a man. Watch out here. Inside the ten. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback, so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. They line up to kick this one away. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas Tech's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Makes the first down catch. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Second and 10. Ball on their own 39. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 42. That makes it zero to seven. Play action. Catches it, and he's looking for more. That's a great tackle at the 35. Illegal touching. Offense. Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Texas Tech. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Check, check. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! He's on the run. He's got the corner. Dives, and he's down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Go! Check 37. Go! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 41-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Go! And he is drilled at the 44. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Made at the 30. He's hit and taken down. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. Offside. Defense. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys off sides. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. Number 22 with the tackle at the 10 yard line. That brings up second and one. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quickly, and he's got 
Caught his receiver for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. the 16. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Zips it to the tight end, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Once and all, going deep. Almost intercepted. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Texas Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. About two minutes before halftime. He'll keep it on the ground again. Makes it out to about the 49. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 30. Tackle at the 27-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 24-yard line. A pickup of about three. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24. Three down, three down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Go. 74. This is the eighth play of the drive. Looks for his running back incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. Texas, 
Texas Tech to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Complete across the middle. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Number 19 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. From their own 41 yard line. It's third down. Mike Seven. I want that. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 47. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Washington State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's looking for six. He's got it. Touchdown, Washington State. These four guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. He hits the PAT. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score, 20 to 7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Red Raiders are just cruising through this first half for be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That makes it 37. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. From their own 45-yard line, first down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Wants to go long and does. And it's intercepted by the senior quarterback. And he tackles him hard at the three. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. The Red Raiders with a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. According to the scoreboard, the first half went pretty much as scripted. We expected this team to be on top, and they are. They're up by two scores. That's not surprising. 
but I'm not so sure that, that there are really different feelings in the locker room right now. You might have a couple of confident teams taking a break. Yeah, you might be you might be up by a couple of scores, but you probably feel like you could add more to it. You feel like everything's gone as scripted, as planned. You feel like you're doing what you want to do. You're limiting them from doing what they want to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, it, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, right now, nobody can hold on to the pigskin right here. Sometimes turnovers are contagious, and right now we've got a contagious disease on our hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down to the 33-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 23 on the tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up 32. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Going long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down and ten to go. Ball on the 46. They come out in a five-wide set. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. They're ready to begin another drive. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. He's under pressure. He airs it out. The defender had it and then dropped it. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 30-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. 
What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he throws it away. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Quick throw out to the receiver. Lock down at the 31. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 35-yard line. He showed a good burst there. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it 35. Disco Razor! Disco Razor! Scrambling around. And now he's going to improvise. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. Under heavy pressure. Aaron and out long. In and out of his hands. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Texas Tech is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Texas Tech's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Hit immediately. Nice run there as they work the outside. Corner on 
the interception. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 47 yard line, first down. Mike's 13, Mike's 13. He's coming, he's coming. Check Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. <laughs> Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He's going to go for the home run. Leaps picked off. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple of scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. from their own 28-yard line. It's first down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback, and he's shoved out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Texas Tech in front, 23 to 7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Third and ten. Ball on their own 28. He's hit and taken down. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route. There's man coverage. And you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. And he's leveled at the 42-yard line. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Second and 10. Ball on the 42. complete he's got room to work tackle around the 35 yard line that makes it third and three Stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. And they won't get the 
two. A nice nine play, 71 yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. well let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That's a deep one. That brings up second and one. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That's a team on the play. That makes it second and two. Give to the tailback, and he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Makes it out to about the seven. So the run goes for another first down. And Kirk, they're really having some trouble stopping this kid on this drive. The offense is just winning the battle up front. Right now, the defense knows the run is coming. They just can't stop it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. And he adds the extra point. Texas Tech to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Just under two minutes in the game. This quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision. But that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires to the wideout, first down. 
They'll bring him down at the 42. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From the 37 yard line, first down in the shotgun and five wideouts. And down he goes at about the 35. The spike will stop the clock. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. Makes the catch and look out. Spikes the ball. From the 22 yard line, second down. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. This is the 11th play of this drive. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled in the open field. Stops the clock with a spike. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Here they come. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Texas Tech's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, their star didn't shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game.